recent surveys, I'd say that's going to be one of the richest pools since East Texas. News like this is bound to get out. Let's go down and get Pampas' name on a deal. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Oh, there, there, there. What's the matter? You want to see what just flew over Blueberry Ridge? What? The dad blame this biggest bird you ever laid eyes on. Probably just overrode Chicken Hawk. Chicken Hawk? Nothing. That thing could make off with of the hog. Hurry up, put that gun together. No room to land near the cabin, Mr. Brewster. It's too rocky and hilly. Then let's get the sling ready to be lowered. Well, Mr. Brewster, that might be dangerous. Hang the danger. We're going to be the first oil company down there if it kills you. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Don't worry. If it's safe, I'll follow you. <laughs> Granny, I see it. There it is. Land of mercy. Look at that. What you doing, Granny? That thing's only got one claw, but dang if it ain't grabbed up a man. <laughs> It's my stranger. Where is it? Just flew over the house. I'll get it on the other side. <laughs> you killing, Granny? No, but I made it drop that stranger. <laughs> the chicken house. <laughs> I'm sure sorry about the chicken house, but nobody got hurt. Jethro, I told you to get rid of them worn out brakes. I did, Ma. That's how come we ain't got none. <laughs> get on out and lift the chicken house back on its foundation. Jed? Jed, Ellie Mae came running over to my place and she said you sold the swamp to some oil company. Well, yeah, I guess I did. What did they pay you for it? Well, he ain't paid me nothing yet. The Brewster fella said he'd bring the money later. Well, how much they going to pay you? Well, uh, he said I'd depend some on how much oil they could pump out. Well, he must have mentioned some figure. What was it? Now, Pearl, you know that old swamp one where it shucks. Jed Clampett, you got slicked and you're ashamed to admit it. That's just what I told you. Granny, how much are they going to pay him? All right, I'll tell you. He said it runs somewhere between 25 and 100. 25 and 100? I know it don't sound like much, but Mr. Brewster seemed to set great store by the fact he's going to pay me in some new kind of dollars. There ain't no new kind of dollars. Well, it's new to me. I've heard of gold dollars, silver dollars, paper dollars, but he says he's going to pay me in, uh, what do you call them, Granny? Million dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Million dollars? Well, you wrote the whole thing out on this piece of paper. Here, you can see for yourself. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that, Jackson. Let's see here now. Saints in heaven. <coughs> Granny, give me the jug. <laughs> it's empty, but I'll fetch some. I'll go, Granny. Chip. Chip. You're a millionaire. A millionaire. Yeah, that's what that Brewster fella kept calling me. I didn't know just how to take it. <laughs> he meant you're rich. Me? The richest man in these hills. Maybe in the whole state. Oh, Jed, you can have anything you want. Do anything you want. Go any place you want. Yeah, that's another thing he kept saying. He said he reckoned I'd be moving away from here soon. What do you think, Pearl? You think I ought to move? <laughs> Jed, how can you even ask? Look around you. You're eight miles from your nearest neighbor. You're overrun with skunks, possums, coyotes, bobcats. 
You use kerosene lamps for light. You cook on a wood stove summer and winter. You're drinking homemade moonshine, washing with homemade lye soap. And your bathroom is 50 feet from the house and you ask, should you move? Yeah, I reckon you're right. Man, be a dang fool to leave all this. <laughs> Yeah, you, you misunderstood me. I meant you should move away. And you know where I'd go if I was you? Where? California. California? Yes, sir. Beverly Hills, California. Yeah. Well, the actors that make their movie pictures live in Beverly Hills. Go on. Yes, sir. Well, doggy. Wouldn't that be something? Living in the same neck of the woods with old town me. It sure would. And we could come visit you. <laughs> you know what else they say about California? What? You don't get cold out there. What don't get cold out there? Nothing don't get cold out there. They don't have no snow or no ice. Can't they bring some in? <laughs> they don't want it. That's why it'd be so good for Granny. Remember last winter when she slipped on the ice and broke her hip? Yeah, poor old woman. She was limping for two days. <laughs> well, that couldn't happen in California because they don't have no ice. How come? I don't know how come. But Granny'd sure like it. And we could visit you. <laughs> You know what else they say about California? Maybe Jethro know how come there's no eyes. He's going to school. We could ask him. <laughs> Jethro? Yeah, Ma? Come on over here. Speaking of school, Ellie Mae could get herself a fine education out there in Beverly Hills. Yeah, Ma? Your rich uncle's got a question he'd like to ask you. What rich uncle, Ma? <laughs> Your rich uncle, Jade. Jethro? 